Welcome to the White Wall Sessions Radio. I'm your host, Dan Schaefer. On this week's episode, we feature Michelle Wolf, Ryan Dowdy, and Them Cooley Boys. If you'd like to know more about the artists on the show, visit the WhitewallSessions.com for features, links, and videos. Michelle Wolf is a singer-songwriter based out of Chamberlain, South Dakota. Her music blends the pop and folk genres. Michelle is constantly recording, touring, and performing her music. Another beautiful thing that can cause pain. Tell me one more time where I'm wrong, where the time went. Tell me one more time where the time. excited to welcome Michelle Wolf to the White Wall Sessions tonight. Now, welcome, Michelle. Thank you. Thank you. From Chamberlain, South Dakota. From Chamberlain, South Dakota. So you are technically East River, right? But you can see West River. Yes. <laughs> Were you born and raised in Chamberlain? I was not born there. I was born in California, but I moved there when I was eight. Born in California. Paradise, <laughs> believe it or not. So um, uh, spent most of your life in Chamberlain then and um, came to Sioux Falls to go to school. Is that right? Yeah, I went to school in a couple of places, but I graduated from Sioux Falls. When did you start playing guitar and singing? When I was 21. So I'm 28 now. Okay. So not very long. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, you sound fantastic. When did, when did, you, when did you start performing? Um, well, I was in a, an all-girl band here in Sioux Falls a couple years back. So I guess we did some shows together. Okay. What was um, the name of that band? 
Madame Dulcet. I'm sure people will recognize that. Or Ms. Dames Dulce. (laughs) (laughs) But yeah, we we played out here for about a half a year or so. We did a lot of festivals and stuff. And what did you play in that band? I was rhythm guitar and vocals. Yeah? Lead vocals or? or... Um, Sometimes. We we were three-piece harmony, so it was really fun. We had kind of a folky, girly thing going on. Well, I, I, your voice is, is um, I've been remarking on it earlier. I just think that there's so much of emotion and power in that voice. Have you been singing all your life? Or when you were a little girl, did you sing? Or I did. I did. I, I didn't know how to, but I sang all the time. I, uh, I would just make up stuff to, you know, to hear myself. So yeah. that's kind of where I got into writing and stuff. But I would always sing in the car, so it was pretty, <laughs> pretty exciting. But I didn't really learn how to sing and I still, you know, I sing along with the divas on YouTube. That's my yeah. my vocal coach. <laughs> well, maybe that's the way to do it. Because that, I mean, there, you, you learn a lot listening to other other singers, right? And then trying to emulate those. Yes, definitely. Did you learn? I mean, did you feel you had a voice before you started? Were in that other band or? or uh, mm, no, I evolved? always, I always, and I still feel like I have a very high voice that is shrieking to myself. So. <laughs> <laughs> But um, I'm I'm working on lowering it. <laughs> well, I th- I'm telling you, I think there was a lot of range in that voice. I mean, it's just to me, it had a lot of soul and a lot of emotion, and I just I thought it was voice is fantastic. Well, thank you. Um, tell me about your songwriting. When did you start writing a song? Oh, um, I can remember. I, I did a lot of like in high school. I wrote a lot of poetry type thing, but I I never really wrote a song until I was a freshman in college. In Vermilion, actually. You went to USD? Yep, for one semester. <laughs> but I uh, I didn't have a roommate there because she always stayed at her boyfriend's. So it was just me by myself, and I um, I would just write down lyrics and start making up melodies. But I knew I needed an instrument to play it. I couldn't just sing it. So I ended up buying a guitar there, and that's where I kind of started. So in Vermilion, when you, you you felt you needed to accompany that that those lyrics with that, so the Mm-hmm. I had a lot of alone time, so <laughs> it worked out. What were the first, what were the, are you still playing some of those first songs you wrote or, or did they change? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's some I don't play, but there's some that I've I revisited and kind of brought back to life maybe. Do you, when you go back and play those first songs, does it seem like a dis- different person that wrote those or is it still you? Oh yeah. I can get cheesy, but sometimes I just need to write just for discipline purposes and then I'll let myself do whatever. But I feel like I can tell when I'm writing something I feel, um, which is important for an artist. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you've got there's a lot of profound lyrics in your songs. Are those are those personal, or are you writing about someone else, or what? What, what makes you want to write a song? Yeah, a lot of it is personal. I I feel like sadly I'm I'm a I'm more apt to write when I'm upset, so I don't have very many happy songs. And when I'm I'm supposed to do like Valentine's Day shows, it's hard for me. But <laughs> I'm working on that. I'm gonna start doing some love song exercises. <laughs> well, how how do you do songwriting exercises? Have you tried any of those yet, or have you just kind of thought different ways of doing it? Well, I I just force it. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Practice chords and then say nice things. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so do when you're writing songs, do you does the mirror does the the lyrics come first, or the or the melody, or the chords, or how does how does your process, or, or do you, if you not even have a process, how does how does it go from nothing to to a song, finished song? Well, um, I've done a few different ways actually. I just I feel like it's I get my most meaningful lyrics when I freestyle. I feel like so I'll have my chords and I'll just kind of go with it. And some reason I'm naturally good at saying what I want to say in that moment. But I kind of just record myself um, doing like a five-minute session by myself and then go back and make it make more sense. <laughs> yeah. So like if you're if you're playing around a guitar, you kind of find something that works, then you're just kind of looking for syllables or phonics or whatever to land on those chords, and that's when you find the lyrics? Or, or does that kind of give you a roadmap to, to write the song? Yeah, I mean, I just kind of feel it. Yeah. I've done a couple songs where I write out what I want to say first, and um, those are good, but... I feel like I have more passion involved in the ones that I'm just kind of opening up and going for. Do you find the song is kind of writing itself as you're as you're following it, or or do you have to work at it a lot? Yeah, it kind of writes itself. Um, I definitely make some changes here and there, but yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I just go with it. So, and is it 
do you ever do you write about? Uh, have you ever pick like a character or create a character and write about that person, or or do, is it usually yourself that you're writing about? Mm. I have characters sometimes. Yeah. It might be me uh, from a different time or something I dreamt up. But yeah, uh, there's definitely a tweak on reality there. Yeah. So. Tell me more. About Elaborate. That. <laughs> um, well, I I feel like we go through different emotions, and I tend to pull those back out sometimes. If I felt something a long time ago, like jealousy or something, I can I can revisit that feeling and and um, create a song for a whole different experience. Interesting. And when you when you're playing those songs. What do you, I mean, are you seeing the, the subject of the person you're, the song is about? Or, or I mean, what are you thinking when you're playing? Mm. Yeah, I, I definitely go through the feelings of what I'm saying. And that's how I want to write because I want to be able to express it every time I perform in that way where it has more meaning to me. Because I do have some songs where I wrote them, like you said, seven years ago, and they're, I can't really relate to them that much anymore. And I think just with time that happens. But I try to be uh, real enough that I can always go back. And when I perform them, I can have some sort of passion in it. Yeah. Do you ever have to, does it ever get, the passion ever get too overwhelming where you, you have to kind of t- remove yourself from the song and just deliver it? or or. <laughs> When I get too passionate, um, I usually just mess up somewhere. (laughs) (laughs) We held hands down to the bottom Until I couldn't see it all You were there beside me the whole way I didn't know how alone I could feel They say happiness is something you control Then why did you take that from me? Maybe it's time for me to move along If it's the bottom, it is the bottom, it is for me I want to see you in a different light One where I can't see you at all different light One where I can't see you at all I'm taking in the healing pain Getting through another day Well, you were the one who did this, I'll say Yeah, I'm the only one to blame Well, maybe it's time for me to move along Maybe it's time for me to see If it's the bottom, it's the bottom When I stop digging And it's the bottom, I think it's the bottom It is for me I want to see you in a different light
you in a different light One where I can't see you at all I want to see you in a different light One where I can't see you at all One where I can't Ryan Dowdy is an Americana singer-songwriter based out of Des Moines, Iowa. Ryan's smooth vocals, coupled with a comprehensive finger-picking style, make his music an enjoyable experience. Oh my 
baby to come back home I want neon skies Purple and pink I want a bucket full of bait And I want it to stink I want a fishing boat A nine foot long And I want to hear A slow waltzy song But mostly I want my baby to come back home Cause I got miles and miles and miles of love That you don't even know All sorts of different types Like different flakes of snow Shotgun that shoots flowers in bloom. I want a lasso so I can pull down the moon. I want the velcro shoes that I don't got a tie. In the back of my head, I want another set of eyes. But mostly, I want my baby to come back home. I want a gravel road with lots of hills. I want my doctor to stop. Selling me pills I want a big old dog In the back of my truck And I want to stop thinking Life is only luck But mostly I want my baby to come back home Cause I got miles and miles and miles of love That you don't even know All sorts of different types Like different So we're here tonight at the White Wall Sessions with Ryan Doty. How are you doing tonight? Very good. good. Doing and how, was, how was the experience today? It was awesome. It was yeah. great. The space is awesome. The crew's great. So yeah, I had a really fun time. That's, sure. that's fantastic. So according to your online stuff, you hail from Des Moines, Iowa. Is, is that correct? Yeah, I live in Des Moines now. Yeah, I grew up in southeast Iowa in a town sure. called Washington, which wow. is about 30 miles straight south of Iowa City. So, oh wow! Yeah, small small farm town. Um, but yeah, n- right now I call Des Moines home. Sure. So yeah. what 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 led you into songwriting hmm. and playing music? Um, well, I've been singing my whole life, as long as I can remember. Then I started playing guitar when I was around thirteen or so. And uh, the guy that I grew up across the street from, he used to have these big parties. He was an old folky, you know. So he'd have these big parties and big fire pits and he'd bring all of his friends over and they'd all sit in a circle and just trade songs one after another around the fire and so I'd go over and, and sit and watch this and I was just blown away by all the story songs and the you know, like all the old Steve Earle and John Prine and stuff so absolutely that even as a you know teenage boy I could really appreciate the 
that kind of music. So absolutely, those guys have such classic songs and we're right. such good, you know, storytellers. Much like yourself, um, you know, for a young kid, thirteen years old, to ex- be experiencing that, to sitting around a campfire. I noticed today when you were kind of strumming some songs, you have a couple different picking styles. I mean, yeah, you have yeah. Uh, kind of the double pluck. I'm not a real Guitar player, we were talking. I'm a drummer, but right. um, and then you, you almost do this like hand, like the swipe down, and you get like a rhythmic tick to it. Do you, can you talk about that a little bit, or where did that come from? Um, I don't know. Uh, I always, I don't know technically what you call it. I always call it kind of like a rake. You just kind of rake across all <laughs> yeah. the strings. That's and a the, good way to call it in time and in rhythm. And uh, I think you know, it's just one of those tricks that being a solo performer, it's just. You got to have some of that stuff to keep it interesting, you know, to fill up the sound a little bit, just so you're not just up there strumming with a pick the whole night, you know. So it just helps fill the sound, and uh, yeah, I don't know. It's just I, it's just one of those. When did you pick that up? I guess in our talks earlier, you were saying you've you've kind of been playing music and and touring in essence for over a decade now. Is that is that is that right? Yeah, and I've I've remained uh, pretty local to the Midwest for sure. most of that period. Um, but yeah, where I picked that up, I don't know. It's probably the early two thousands is when I really started getting into the finger picking and sure. you know, like listening to Greg Brown and yeah. Gary Jules and all these guys. Where you know, I was just like mesmerized. I you know I wasn't even listening to the song at first. I was just watching their hands, and so I I really started to get into guitar playing or like exploring that in the early two thousands and just trying to push those limits more and. Um, but where I picked that up, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. like you said, those guys are so mesmerizing as as you are yourself. I mean, it's just a different style that you don't see everybody do. Yeah, and I just I've always, you know, I, what I like about it is the song can be great and you know great lyrics and great music and everything. But I I always enjoyed the aesthetic pleasure of just watching a finger style guitar player. Abs- so absolutely, yeah, just kind of latched on. And, and we, we love it down here too. I'll tell you. you. The 
four-piece folk Americana band based out of Eau Claire, Wisconsin. The band is Soren Staff on vocals and guitar, Bo Jangi on banjo, piano, harmonica and vocals, Jen Staff on mandolin and vocals, and Neil Krauss on bass, kick drum, and vocals. People walking in a line, never stepping out of time, say it's okay. It's okay. It's just a sign of the shine. Say it's okay. It's okay. It's just a sign of the shine. Seems we're strapped to our chairs, look around, the chains ain't there. And yet we still can't leave it like a slave to the money, say it's okay. It's okay. It's just a sign of the shine. It's okay. It's okay. It's just a sign of the shine. We got our right to use our voice. Time and place are not our choice. But it's still some which we speak. Though our words don't mean a thing. Say it's okay. It's okay. It's just a sign of the shine. Say it's okay. It's okay. It's just a sign of the shine. Kiss her on her head, say it's okay. It's okay. It's just a sign of the shine. Say it's okay. It's okay. It's just a sign of the shine. Yeah, they'll tell you who to be, who you are, and what to eat. They'll say some stuff I got about. They'll tell you who you cannot love. Say it's okay. It's okay. It's just a sign of the shine. It's just the sign of the times. Thank you. Well, the White Wall Sessions are very excited to welcome them, Cooley Boys, to the studio. Hey guys, how's it going? Hello. Good, good. good. That was a fun show we just saw. That was great cool. show. Thanks, it was. Um, you are actually from the Cooley region of Wisconsin, is that right? Yeah, yeah. Wisconsin. So, let me start here. We got Jens and Soren, brothers Jens and Soren's staff. Mm -hmm. um, Bo Janky. That's correct. Playing the banjo. <laughs> and Neil um, Krause mm -hmm. on the bass. Mm -hmm. Neil's been here before. He was with Tin Can Gin. Yeah. And you guys have played with a bunch of other White Wall Sessions alums. Charlie Parr, uh, Dave Simonette. Yeah. Yes. Horseshoes and hand grenades. Yeah. yeah. One horses. big happy family. Yeah, yeah. Dead horses. <laughs> Condor last night. Yeah. Yeah, Condor yeah. last night. Yeah, last night. 
So um, tell me how you found the White Wall Sessions. Uh, did Neil, did you bring them here, or how did that happen? Uh, I, yeah, I joined the band a couple months ago, and I uh, definitely brought up what a great experience it was and how we should definitely try to get in as soon as possible. And I know you guys are crazy popular, so I thought it might take a, a bit of time, but luckily we, we made it here quick. <laughs>
love in her eyes Like a long lost sister Singing last goodbyes Oh but she loves the fire Just as much as she loves size You ain't ever lonely There's love in her eyes Clean my conscience Call thee clean Like a hollowed homestead Covered in gasoline Oh, but no one loves a liar As much as they love nicotine Now I ain't saying nothing That I don't mean I want be to find Who I am when I'm weak When my mind Has this season grip on me I don't have to be a victim Forces you can't see I won't be defined Who I am when I'm weak Lost a friend To the TV screen Like a falling firefly Drawn to the lamplight scene But I'll have my time there Just as much as you love me Never let your heart Get in the way of your dream I won't be defined By who I am when I'm weak When my mind Has its season grip on me
you'd like to know more about the artists we feature, visit thewhitewallsessions.com. The White Wall Sessions Radio is recorded and produced at Last Stop Studios in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Last Stop Studios is located in the lower level of the Last Stop CD shop at 2121 East 10th Street in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Executive producers are Jeff Zuger and Doug Taylor. Head of Broadcast Engineering is Dave Palmer. Audio technicians are Chad Conrad, Carl Koiser, and Dave Palmer. Audio mixing is Chad Conrad. Associate producer is Michael Yeager. Scheduling and sales is Tom Eisner. I'm your host, Dan Schaefer. Join us again next week for another edition of the White Wall Sessions Radio.